Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, and we're going to talk about TikTok because that's where all the all the cool kids are going to TikTok, right? Yeah, if I were you, I would not put all of your eggs into the TikTok basket. I think the handle might break pretty soon. One way or another, we're going to talk about rumors that the Biden administration is looking into getting TikTok banned. Remember when it was the Trump administration? Yeah, well, now it's the Biden administration uh, banning TikTok or forcing a sale. And we're going to talk about the abysmal pay for most creators on TikTok. It's, it's simply not a very good deal. And it seems like uh, a lot of these social media platforms are really pulling back on their content funds. You know, basically they don't do an ad share with you. They just have a bunch of money and they just sort of arbitrarily give you some of that money based loosely on performance and whether or not they like you, I, I guess. Uh, so we're gonna talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants. Guys, almost, uh, almost 284,000 subs on YouTube. We do talk about YouTube and TikTok in the creator economy, being uh, content creators ourselves. And uh, we talk about you know where we think creators should go to build a platform uh, to promote their stuff. And I don't know what to tell you. I'm being completely honest. I have no idea what to tell anybody to do anymore in terms of social media because everything is going to be upended uh, because a lot of venture capital is running out. A lot of these companies are running out of ad money. Uh, we're starting to find out that the uh, censorship is worse than we thought it was. Uh, thanks to the uh, Twitter files, and uh, we have no idea how far down the rabbit hole it all goes. But I am noticing personally that like Facebook is not working as well as it used to. I don't know if that's because people are leaving or what. Um, Twitter, of course, had a massive change with Elon Musk coming in and buying it. Uh, that's all upended right now. Um, you know, Instagram is part of Facebook, and then there's TikTok, and a lot of people were giving up on YouTube or just bypassing YouTube completely to go to TikTok and they were building massive audiences up over there because uh, it is pretty easy to build an audience over on TikTok. What is hard is actually being able to monetize uh, TikTok and it's going to get even harder. So I know earlier in the year, beginning of the year, Mr. Beast put a tweet out there talking about how little creators get paid on TikTok compared to other platforms. Really where the money comes from when you see these like rich, famous TikTokers is, you know, sponsorship deals, brand deals. And those are starting to run out, too. Again, as the venture capital runs out, as the advertising revenue runs out, uh, TikTokers aren't exactly top of mind. Right. But he said that he had like a billion views on TikTok and he got fourteen thousand dollars for that. That's not very good at all uh, compared to other platforms, compared to YouTube. And I know a lot of people that are depending, you know, solely on TikTok now for their incomes. And guys, it's not, it's not looking too good. A couple articles came out over the last couple of days, uh, painting a pretty bleak picture for TikTok from where I'm sitting anyway. And this is part of the reason we haven't really gone uh, all in on TikTok. We do have a TikTok account. We post some gaming content over there, but it's not really a priority for us. And uh, this is a, this is a lot of the reason why, because we don't know if it's going to be around uh, long term. Now, if you remember a couple of uh, years ago, you know, President Trump uh, at the time was saying that, uh, you know, he was looking into getting TikTok banned and then they had to work out a deal with uh, Oracle. And apparently they did. And we thought everything was fine. Well, now there are security concerns being raised about TikTok again. Now it's on the table that TikTok could potentially get banned again or sold again or something um, that the Biden administration actually believes now that TikTok could be a gateway to the Chinese getting a hold of Americans' sensitive information. Imagine that, right? So this is, uh, this is coming from CNET. Uh, this article just came out this morning. TikTok under pressure as Biden administration scrutinizes Chinese ownership, the social media company, could face a push to sell its U.S. operations to eliminate influence from the Chinese government. Uh, the Chinese owners of TikTok may be facing pressure to divest. The security concerns of the popular social media platform have led some Biden administration officials to push for a sale of the company's U.S. operations to ensure Beijing can't harness the app for espionage and political influence. 
And again, this is this is something that was talked about during the Trump administration and everybody kind of got a reprieve. I remember there were all kinds of TikTokers out there doing their PSAs like you can't get rid of TikTok. It's the best thing ever. It's how I talked to all my peeps. Uh, and now it looks like we're, we're right back to where we were at two years ago. Uh, the idea of a forced sale was raised in discussions by the Committee on Foreign Investment in the U.S. by the representatives from the Pentagon and Department of Justice pushing for a sale. Among the concerns is the idea that the Chinese government could use TikTok, which is owned by Chinese conglomerate ByteDance, to acquire information on U.S. users, as well as dictate what content is or isn't shown on the platform in a bid to influence U.S. popular opinion. There's some really weird stuff on TikTok, and I have to wonder, and a lot of the, a lot of the, the stuff that trends on TikTok right now uh, would be considered verboten in China and Part of me wonders if that isn't the plan, like to, you know, push a lot of stuff on TikTok. I'm just saying. TikTok says that it has been working with the CFI US for over two years to address all reasonable national security concerns about the company, and that it has made substantial progress addressing concerns about corporate governance, content recommendation and moderation, and data security and access. We believe those concerns can be fully resolved, TikTok said in a statement. Uh, well beyond what any peer company is doing today. National security concerns over TikTok have picked up in recent weeks. A report earlier this month suggested that negotiations between the Biden administration and the app over its U.S. operations would be put on hold because of national security concerns. Uh, the app has been banned from being used on government-issued devices or networks in some states, with some universities in Georgia, Oklahoma, and Alabama similarly preventing access on campus computers and networks. And then they talk about how Trump tried to uh, ban it a couple of years ago. Remember, he was he was an awful person for wanting to uh, ban TikTok. I think it was, you know, he was racist because he, you know, was uh, he had concerns. They had concerns at the time about the Chinese government. And now we're right back to where we were two years ago under a different a different uh, regime. Right. So here's the thing, too. Beyond the fact that TikTok could get taken away any day or the algorithm could change or something, um, the money is not there. This is, uh, this is actually coming from the information, which is a pretty reliable website, I think. They have their 2023 predictions, and they said that what is going to happen to the creator economy is that a lot of these creator funds are going to dry up, and that's what they've been bankrolling. They've been giving money away, basically seed money, giving seed money to content creators on various platforms. They've done it on Instagram, too, with Reels and Snapchat and all these other platforms to try to get people to post original content on the platform without really having the ads lined up to you know pay for it. And TikTok was one of the biggest but you see like Mr. Beast, a billion views, he got $14,000. You know, can you imagine what a billion views is on, on YouTube? But again, that's just the way that, that it works right now. But they're saying that the uh, creator economy is going to implode for a lot of people. That if you're depending not on ad revenue, but on creator funds. Uh, they said that they're predicting Meta, which would be Facebook and Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest, and Snap will shutter their creator funds, which offer cash to encourage people to post engaging videos. Amid an advertising pullback, these companies can no longer prioritize putting money into these funds. The impact on creators will be mixed. While some initially reported earning substantial money from these funds, payments have fluctuated over time as more creators have joined the programs or as platforms have adjusted incentives, making the income unreliable. Unreliable. So you have to be concerned about that. There's another article they put up too. Uh, they have the year in 2022 for creators and two charts. It said social media companies' cash grants to creators are fading. This is a chart. They said um, the date announced for Meta, they had a billion dollars in July of 21. Uh, and the year end of 2023 or beyond, they're going to end their fund. TikTok, summer 2023, they're going to end their fund. Uh, YouTube, short videos, early 2023, they're actually going to switch to uh, ad revenue just like they do for regular videos. Uh, Snap. I don't know what's going on with them. They're kind of imploding right now. LinkedIn, I didn't even know they were doing that. They're closing applications. Pinterest never had it. And nobody knows what the hell is going on with Twitter. Apparently, Twitter had a $2,500 a month grant to certain content creators, uh, live audio creators. Now, nobody knows what's going on. Nobody knows what's going on. So, yeah, 
the takeaway. They said the chart shows how creator funds are winding down. Creators and the main platforms will rely more on advertising revenue. Model YouTube popularized has been copied by Snap, Facebook, and TikTok to some degree. Some degree. So here's here's the thing, guys. Um, I, I really don't know what to tell you as far as where to spend your time because really with social media, you can't be everywhere. You have to pick one or two platforms and kind of focus on that. But I can tell you that my own personal opinion is I would be very hesitant to focus on TikTok at this point. There are too many variables. Uh, the government uh, situation is is concerning for sure. And frankly, what they're doing is going to be copied by all the other platforms anyway. I mean, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, they're all doing short videos now too. And it's just a matter of time until it's kind of going to be unnecessary. Again, in my opinion, I have no idea unless TikTok gets sold to one of these other platforms like Meta buys it or Twitter buys it or something. Um, but yeah, this, this is a problem and the money's not there. And, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you on the flip side. If TikTok goes down, I don't think the world would be that bad off. Have you seen some of the, the ridiculous TikToks? Yeah, it's, it's a really fun place. I'm going to wrap this up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later.